A key routing concept on your 48 is RPF, reverse path forwarding. It is a mechanism that protects you from IP spoofing, and it works like that. Any packet that is sent towards your network is checked. If there's a route towards the source IP, the packet will continue to its destination. If there is no route to the source IP, the packet will be dropped. So if 10.0.1.3 wants to connect 192.168.2.8, it will do it successfully. We will soon look at the routing table and understand why. But if 172.16.7.8 tries to connect 10.0.1.3, then the packet will drop. The reason is as following. If we look at the routing table, then everything becomes much more clear. So in our 48 routing table, we can see that port three has a default route. It is quad zero. So our client can get out and reach its destination since we have a route to the source IP. Now the other client, the 172.16, goes out through port 1. In port 1, if we look at the routing table, we have a static route to a network or to a, a destination at the 8254. That is not our destination. And we have another connected network, which is the 192.168.1.0. So port 1 doesn't have a route back to our 172.16 and the packet is dropped. Now there are two types of RPF. There's the strict RPF and there's the loose RPF. The loose RPF tells us that there needs to be a route to the source IP. The strict RPF tells us that we need to have the best route to the source IP. It can be configured on your firewall. Let's see how. All right, so that was a long opening, but it is important to understand how RPF actually works. So to configure RPF either in a strict mode or a loose mode, you actually use, you know what, let's just look at our routing table, router info, let's use the database. All right, so that's our routing table. We have an OSPF uh, route, we have connected networks, and we have a static route, which is the default route. Now the loose RPF is the default. So let's just use the config system settings and set source check, strict source check. Now, if we enable the strict source check, then we actually enable the strict RPF. Now, if we enable strict mode, then it will look for the best route, the active route in the routing table. If we disable, which is the default, then we stay with the loose RPF. In most use cases, use loose RPF.